This is a quick introduction to sample size calculations. Before conducting a study, we need to know how many people to approach. For example, we might be running a randomized controlled trial of standard dressings versus silver coated dressings. How many patients do we need to randomize in order to detect a halving in infection rates? We first need to think about the difference between the truth and the results of our study. An example truth may be that silver dressings do reduce infection rates, but just by chance our study failed to show this difference. This is a type 2 error. The other way we can get it wrong is when there is no real treatment difference, but our study wrongly finds that there is. This is a type 1 error. Any study is just an estimate of the truth, and it is always possible that the results are wrong, either by bad planning or bad luck. We can reduce our chances of getting it wrong by using a well thought through sample size calculation. There are three key numbers. Number one is the power, which is the probability of finding a true difference. This is the bottom right cell in our previous table and is one minus the type 2 error. We want a large power to avoid type 2 errors and so we normally use 80 or 90 percent. Number two is the significance, which is the type 1 error. We want this to be small and the standard is 5 percent, meaning a 5 percent chance of wrongly finding a difference that does not exist. Number three is the treatment difference, which is our guess of how effective the treatment will be. For example, we guess that the infection rate for silver dressings will be 5% and for standard dressings 10%. The treatment difference can be the hardest number to estimate, because if we knew it, there would be no need for the study. We can plug these numbers into an online sample size calculator, which tells us that we need 342 patients per group to find a reduction in infection rates from 10 to 5%, and that we will find this difference 4 out of 5 times, our 80% power. Sample size calculations need to be just right. A study that is too small will not answer the question and so will waste resources. Conversely, a study that is too big will also waste resources and time and may also unnecessarily put people in danger.